We can also use the Pythagorean theorem to find the distance between any two points on a Cartesian coordinate plane. This is our fifth application of the Pythagorean theorem. Let's pick two points, the first with coordinates x1, y1, and the second with coordinates x2, y2. We want to know the distance between these two points. Not easy at first glance, but when we draw horizontal and vertical lines through the points, you can probably see where we're going. Since the new lines are perpendicular, the triangle is a right triangle, and we can apply the Pythagorean theorem. We'll label the sides A, B, and C, with C as the hypotenuse, whose length we want to find. C squared equals A squared plus B squared. C equals the square root of the sum of squares. Well, what values do we use for A and B? Look carefully, and A is the difference between the x-coordinates, the horizontal distance between x sub 1 and x sub 2, so x sub 1 minus x sub 2. Similarly, red distance B is the vertical distance between the y-coordinates, y1 minus y2. So when we substitute these expressions into the equation, we get the general equation for the distance between two points in a plane. The equation looks a little complicated, but we can go through it step by step and see how it corresponds exactly to the geometric interpretation of the Pythagorean theorem. x1 minus x2 is the length of blue. y1 minus y2 is the length of red. We square these terms, both in the equation and on the graph. Add them together to get the area of yellow, and then take the square root to get the length of yellow, the distance between the two given points. These subscripts might be hard to keep straight. Is it x1 minus x2 or x2 minus x1? And is the order for the y variables the same as for x? Well, I've got a little secret. You don't have to remember. Since we're squaring the differences, it doesn't matter if you take x1 minus x2 or x2 minus x1. When one of these differences is positive, the other is negative. So you get the same positive number when you square them. And of course, the same is true for the y coordinates. So let's introduce the term delta x. Delta is the triangle looking Greek letter, and in math, it's often used to denote change in. So delta x means change in x. So delta x squared equals the x difference squared. Here's the distance formula without any subscripts to remember. This might be easier if you know what delta means. Let's try it out. What's the distance between points negative 1, 6 and 8, 1? Please don't think delta x is 7. We still need to be careful with our math. The difference in x coordinates, delta x, is negative 1 minus 8. The difference in y coordinates, delta y, is 6 minus 1. Perform the subtractions, square these differences, add them together, and take the square root.